All right, welcome back to SnowRunner. And as stated in the previous episode, which was uh, actually last Tuesday, um, we are going for this one, this one, and this one. And after we get this, I will be getting everything back to the garage. And that should call it an episode for now because, yeah, my time, it's... A bit limited today uh usually i have a lot more time to just record but yeah i'm i'm a little bit short on time this week so uh that's because i really wanted to get two episodes out this week um yeah so we're going to see how far we can get uh is there anything i need to customize here it's stock stock oh, i can my current mud is good. It's this one. I'm going to stick with the Hummer tires. Uh, yeah, leave the rush. Let's get going. Yeah, to begin off, uh, if we are going to be moving along with the, with the mobile operation center, and this is what's going to happen, I'm going to put one or two vehicles on top of this and that will be uh, our base of operations but for now no need yet because we're not going to do that first of all we will start near a gas station so no need to risk uh, getting a truck out or risk eh, it's not really risk but no need to get a truck out and make life expensive you know even though it doesn't cost me a dime yet I mean I might modify the the game's code to um, make it a little bit more difficult in the future but for now it's fine where it is for the beginning now, if we're going to be making money like water and we have really, really good trucks and stuff like that, I might turn on um, that you have to pay for fuel and repairs and stuff like that. But for now, for the beginning, I mean, yeah. this uh, It's quite tough already as it is. All right, let me skip ahead until the fuel station and I will see you guys there. Well, there we are. Um, still morning. I hit my engine block or well, front bumper a little bit. Uh, going through the puddle there. Just going to fill up on the gas and... Uh, well, let's get started on our first upgrade to find it that will be here here then until here going here and we will go through here so sensitive until here then we go up here going here there. So as you can see, um, I marked out the whole path. Now, I'm hoping this is quite easy to do, but and as it looks like it is quite doable, but yeah. We are slipping, sliding around. But we are getting there. Oh, you have to have a scout here, huh? <laughs> you don't use a scout vehicle there, and you're not going to make it. Let's 
So these tires are really plowing us through here quite easily. And that's one of the perks that this starting car has. I mean, we really have been blessed with the vehicle we started off with. <laughs> I mean, many of our trucks would have gotten stuck already because of the tires that they have. Come on, a little bit. Race for CK1500. All right, that would have been a race suspension for the regular starting off truck. And I'm guessing a lot of upgrades will be like that. They will be for the first truck that you get here in a standard condition. Like you're really just starting off, you just press start game and then just new game, that's it. No different settings, no nothing. Then you start off with the CK1500 and on this map as well. So I'm guessing that the game has been set up for that. And many of it, um, many of the things we are going to unlock will be for the CK1500. On this map. Let's go back to the fuel station and fill up and go for the next one. Ouch. Why did it not move over? Why? Again? Huh. Alright, well. I'm gonna show this anyway. Um, gonna have to show it. Once your engine or suspension or whatever sustains enough damage on the top left side corner there will be a hold up where did I go oh we're going straight for the next one all right um right up here where you see the Hummer H2 above that there will be the stats of your vehicle displayed again uh, to, to indicate that the stats of your vehicle have changed. So if you're running an A plus on power to weight ratio, then that will change back to an just basic A or even a B, depending on how much how much uh, damage you've sustained. Now that's easily fixed because I have repair supplies on the on the roof of my truck of my Hummer. Uh, yeah, so that should not be a big issue if it happens for me in this current truck. But if we're running the Fleet Star, for example, then yeah, that could be a problem. And eventually, then we might get stuck or we have to get. Uh, AAT 8, 8V 5.2 custom, not available for the current truck. It's for the CK1500 or the Chevrolet Apache. Okay. Like I said, a lot of uh, this will be an engine upgrade. A lot of upgrades on this map will be for the CK1500. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's follow this road here will bring us to the path for the Scout 800. So we are going this way up until here and we will go this way. Always do that to indicate and we will go that way all the way up until there. I do it. I like to do it like that. Then it will show like, okay, you need to go this way and follow the road. And you will get somewhere. And I will know like, okay, I'm nearing my path already. 
Uh, it's this distance. Even though going to the Scout 800 um, will be quite difficult later because yeah, you're going in the the S turns and stuff like that. But, yeah, we'll get through it. All right, up until here. This is the turn. Going that way. This is quite che feels like cheating even to start off with this with this hammer. It's really good at doing these trails here in Michigan. But yeah, as we get on further on in the game. It's going to be more difficult. And life is going to get a lot harder. Here we are for the turn again. Go in here. Then we will take this task with us while we're here. Riverside repair our steel river here. Our river fleet was badly damaged. The only person who can help us is all out of equipment. Can you supply our guy with tools he needs to patch us up? Sure, eventually. Uh, what do you want me to do? Oh, you need that and wooden planks to your house. You do know what you're asking. All right. Making life impossible. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. This is deep. Deep muds. But our winch got it out. All right, going for the Scout 800. Now this is some piece of mud. Come on, Hummer. Oh, this is a tough, rocky trail. Going up that mountain. I'm going to need to keep that Scout 800 really close if I'm going to take it back to the garage. Because I think we are going to be able to keep it after we do. Get close. But first we need to get there. Which is, uh, if you're not as well equipped as with this Hummer, then it's going to be quite a task to get there. Of course, this Hummer is really good equipped, so I'm not really bothered too much. Well, hello there. You have been promoted. New truck discovered. Stop the engine, change truck. Yes, I'm allowed to keep this one. I'm really thinking. You know what? Let's drive this one. Let's drive it home. Let's see how far we get. Until we need the Hummer. Looks to have quite a good ground clearance by itself already, so quite high tires, big tires, and it looks quite capable of Oof. 
That nearly destroyed the truck already. And even though I'm still only in two wheel drive with a diff lock, it's always on. So this truck should, this uh, truck, yeah, this car, Scout, should be more capable even than the Hummer. If it's got the right tires. Because this one has always on diff lock. And the Hummer currently does not. We will see, we will see. How long it will take until we need the Hummer. Oh, that diff lock is a scent from heaven. Jeez, that one plowed through it. Didn't even bother. It's like, yeah, okay, no, 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 I don't care. Yeah, no, I don't care. Don't even give a CRAP. All right, we got our new scout vehicle. <laughs> we have found our new scout vehicle. Even though she's a little bit thirsty, of course. But that doesn't matter. She's getting through it. Uh, no, we're going the other way. We just follow the road. You know what? This is going to be quite a test, of course. Let's, let's test it. Let's go and go for it. Let's go for it. Just test it. See how well it holds up. Because I know the Hummer would get stuck here. Oh, no, I don't know actually, but the Hummer would not like this place. And the Scout 800 doesn't give a, doesn't give a dang. It just doesn't give. Just doesn't care. Even though, yeah, she's struggling a little bit. But not a lot. Still going through it. Wow. That scout truck is something. Even got through that on a high pace. Well, um, yeah, we found our new, our new uh, exploration vehicle <laughs> that tops the Hummer. Now wonder. what the stats are for this. What are the the stuff that's on it? If there are already any upgrades on it, yes or no? Probably not, but... First of all, I hope not. That means we can still upgrade it a lot. But on the other hand, I do hope that there are some upgrades, because that means that we are given a great new vehicle. A really great new vehicle. 
to get through everything. Now this Hummer is no joke as, as well, you know? As a scout vehicle. But I didn't leave that trailer there for nothing. You know? And I think that Scout 800... That little bad boy is not going to have any trouble. Stuck on a rock. In between a rock and a hard place. There we go. Well, now we know that Scout 800 is a lot better than this. Mainly because of the ground clearance, let's be honest. And this already felt like cheating. So, yeah. So that's what I mean if you find a new truck and just try it out and it might even save your life in the future. Because it can be the best thing that happens in sliced bread. With this one, I am going to go this way. Not gonna risk going that way. I know that it's quite capable going this road. So that means we are coming up to the end of the episode already. I did not expect this to go this smoothly. <laughs> Almost feel like I should do something else, but no. I'll try to keep some more for the next episode as well. Then we're going to take out the Scout 800 to explore some more upgrades and some more um, locations. I think we're even going to go get that scout trailer over there. There's the scout 800, and here's the Hummer. And here we go. Now there are quite thin tires, but... Compared to the Hummer. But you've seen what they do, so... All right, let me drive this back to the garage. I will speed it up, time lapse it a little bit then.
yeah, you'll see the whole route and everything that's gone wrong and gone right. Now that we got here, um, let me show you first something. Here you see the Hummer H2 power to weight ratio and stuff like that. Now if I... Bump into it a lot of times. Here you see the durability has gone down to a C+. I know it's not really the way to do it, but we're here anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just wanted to show that still. Alright, now let's check this one out. Let's see what we got. Uh, there is still a race suspension. Oh my god. There's all terrain tires. My first one, mud poor. Here's mud good. All right. Well, these look chunky. I think I'm going to put those on there because yeah, basically you're going to need them. Do I want autonomous scout already? Uh, duh, of course I do. So this one, oh wait, I can also sell stock tires, spare wheel, yes, I would like that. And the roof rack on top. She's kitted out. Uh, you know, can do that. Fog lights, you can't go with that one because it already has. Heavy duty, oh, nice. Not gonna put those on it. Hmm. There are no horns. Ah, for the side pipe threshold. Threshold. Uh, is it worth it? Not until we get the race suspension. Then the color. Ooh, it's a DLC color. All right. Let's see what special. I'll go for the DLC color then. Because I really like it. Um do we have are we, is it worth it? You are 
and offer it warden because yes dark side each leap off road no get it dirty you like it dirty let's get a little bit dirty basically this one's the mud bandit yeah ornaments cost money stickers shut, shut up and take my winch accessories cost money not yet would go for the dash on but no she's kitted out now that means you can actually be retained you can be retained you can be retained i'm gonna put you there you there and that's it so that does it for this episode um i hope to see you guys in the next one And we really got a good, good truck now. Um, yeah, we really got a good truck now. All right. Well, that does it for this episode. Like I said, um, hope you enjoyed. I hope you will tune in the next time and wish you a fantastic weekend. Peace out. <laughs>